Hi there folks, this is Paul Bars. Hello and welcome. Welcome to this video. Thanks for taking the time to come and join with me. We're going to be learning about how to put together our own apps for the Android market in the easiest possible, most cost-effective way. Now, there are many, many different ways to do this. I'm just going to be showing you one and giving you a few other options along the way, as well as some marketing ideas, some marketing tips and strategies that you can use to maximize your results. That's what it's all about, isn't it? So let's get started. Very, very simply, what I want to do today is take one of my free reports, this one here, the 10 point web success checklist. It's an ebook which I published some time back and it's got audio links in it and all sorts of good and wonderful stuff and affiliate links and so on. And I want to make that into an app that uh, people can download from their web, uh, from their phone or you know their tablet, wherever, and then obviously read and get access to the audios and all these types of things. It's going to bring them back to my website, and that of course is my goal. Hey, there it is. If you haven't visited yet, please stop by PaulBars.com, subscribe for some updates. So, in order to do that, what I need to do is have a website which is going to enable me to convert that product into something I can use. And this is the one that I'm going to be working with today. It's called App Geyser. Now I've just got the uh, the screen here, a little bit of a shrinky dink, and that will enable us to do things. Very simply what we do is we click on Create, and then we play with our account. We had not have an account yet, but we have a choice of either entering a website URL, copying paste in some HTML code or YouTube videos, such as your channel or a particular video. Now, let me just pause here for a moment before we get too excited. What I'm dealing with today is this one just here. Okay, I'm not going to be going into all of this. I don't trust this thing to, well, leave my code the way that I want it to, and I don't have the time to do all of that. And I guess I could just have a link to my YouTube as an app, but heck, you can just give a YouTube app and bang, off you go. So maybe, you know, play with that another time, but for the moment, this one just here. It works really simply. We've got the option we put in the website URL here. Give it a name, give it a description, you know, upload an icon, um, and these things. It's, it's really, really easy. And we click here to see the preview. This is where I came across my first problem because I did what most of us would probably do and came back here to my Microsoft Word document and I clicked on Save As and I selected, can you see it down here, a web page. Now I tried a single web page, I tried a normal web page, web page filtered, all sorts of things and it, it just never quite turned out exactly right. Let me, let me give you an idea of what I mean. I took this document, saved it as, and uploaded it to my server. Opened up the window just here, and this is this is the first thing that I got. Now, now that worries me straight away. This is a single page web file. You can't read this because you're not using Internet Explorer, like I want to be using that right now. Anyway, I could copy and paste that uh, URL into here. And click on, let's check out the preview, and just take a look. I mean, hey, maybe it would still work. All right, something's come up there. You can see here, something's come up. I don't know what's come up. Oh, look, that's what's come up. Yay, fun stuff. So that didn't work. Next option was I did the usual. Okay, then I did the save as, and I brought it down, and I made it just a web page, and, you know, did it that way instead. So now going back over to my browser, here we go, I've already got it open. Hmm, all right, this one worked. Okay, so that's a little bit better. I had to upload a whole bunch of files, you know, all these things here and etc, etc, because it, you know, broke up the images just like it should. Yeah, look at that, looks good, looks good, nice. And then we'll just have a quick look at the code, the source code of that. It's, yeah, it's typical Microsoft, blah, look at all that. Goodness me, don't need half of it. Anyway, let's grab that and come over here and we'll pop it in and we'll see how that turns out. Hope you can see this. As I said, I've got the window just on a bit smaller so I can fit the whole thing in. Oops, just need to make sure I pop that correct URL in. There we go. And 
refresh the preview. Here it comes. Okay, we have some text. All right, we have red writing. It's all centered. Red writing, red writing. All on a black background. Oh, and what's happened there? I don't know. Now, this might still look fine. I don't know. So what I decided to do in the long run was something just a little bit different. And I came back here and I just decided to literally just copy and paste all of that text and I made a good old-fashioned bare basic HTML page. This little fella here. I mean, it's it's just basics. We've got some links, we've got some you know H2s and a little bit of color for the headings and that's it. A couple of images as well. So I did that because I just want to see you know, maybe it would work better. Let's just have a quick look. Took me about, oh, I don't know, probably took me 30 minutes. I mean, this thing's got, how many pages is this? Nearly 20 pages. So, yeah, it took about 30 minutes, about a minute per page just to uh, sort of get it up and running. Anyway, let's have a look, see how that turned out. And here we go. Hmm. Now, that's different, isn't it? Very, very different. But, bare basics. I created a little image just to go across the top, a banner. It's about 280 wide. I want this to fit on, you know, pretty well everything. Scrolling down, you can't quite see all the way over there. I guess I can make that just a fraction smaller. All right, there's listen to the audios. Click here for that. Oh, I've got some advertising banners in of my own for my free web design course. I put that in there. Subscribe if you haven't already. Let's have a look. Scrolling down, bare basics. Okay, absolute bare basics. I've got these links here in case the uh, click here to link doesn't work, so they can just literally copy and paste those links and links to my actual blog and so on. Now, that, what's the point, do you think, of, of this? It's to give them incredible content and get them to click through. Now, I'm not using, you know, rah, rah, you've got to do this now because my target market isn't the internet marketing. I'm after small business people. But let me just quickly come back here and let's have a look at this preview now. Starting to look a bit better, don't you think? All right, so perfect sizing. Yes, yes, yes. Nice, nice. Look at that. Fits in beautifully for me all the way straight down to the bottom. There we go. I've done some formatting. That's probably why I took that a little bit extra longer just to get through, do the formatting, listen to the audios. Beautiful. And you can see just how easy that is. All I did was take this text and I just made a bare basic HTML page. I mean, hey, if you don't know how to do that, no problem. There are places online that will do it for you for free. Let's say if I just come back here and I'll open up... Uh, just in, in for Google, and I'll just do this uh, quickly, bring it down, and we'll, yeah, if you spell it right, always makes it easier. Look, there are things that will just do this for you online quickly and easily, and then tidy it up, add in your little bits and pieces, or outsource it. But this is my steroid tip number one, all right? Spend a little time. And don't just go for what this thing, this Word document gives you. Invest the half an hour that it will take to get better results. Now, this looks but ugly. All right, this looks but ugly when it's open in there. Now, this is what I like about it. Watch this. As I move my window around, watch these paragraphs down the bottom here. Okay. There are no tables. There's no formatting. There's none of that stuff whatsoever. Why? Because... I want it to f format to the size of the window that the user has. That's the most important thing. Now, here's the thing. It's not going to look that pretty. This is just bare basics. I could spend more time, all right, and, and I probably will before I actually upload this thing itself. I could spend more time, but it gives you an idea of where to start and how to make it fit if you're having problems with making it fit, okay? So what we do then is we give it a name. Uh, let's see, we want to make that, I guess, no more than 90 characters. Okay, however long 90 characters is. I did read somewhere, no more than 90 characters. Give it a good description. This is a very short paragraph. 
Okay, this is a very short paragraph, a description for this thing here. Upload your icon. Now, just quickly, I'll show you what I've done with my icons. Here it is, just there. If I click preview on that, it should pop in the middle of the screen. It's a little fella. It's 72 pixels by 72. She's blurry if we bring it up, but I simply did that for myself. And uh, there we go. And that's all I need to do. Very quick, simple, and easy. I then select which category it's going to go under. Obviously, mine's going to be web because it's about website design. It will then create it. It'll ask me then to create my account and go through and give me a file which I download. That file I later upload to the Google App Store, Google Play. Okay, really easy to find. Here's how we do it. We click over to Google. We search for how to upload an Android app to Google Play. There's the link right there. Click through. Sweet and easy. There's a fee of $25. Your name, email address, URL, and so on and so on. And just follow the blanks. This is easy stuff. This is easy stuff. Okay? I want to show that to you just so you can see exactly how easy it is. Now, here's the catch. Dom Tom. Yeah, there's always a catch somewhere. Most places, most places, when they give you a free something or other, well, they're going to have an ad there somewhere as well. Now, just between you and me, I don't really want someone else's ads on my ebooks and them making money off the ad. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about you making money. You get their various partner arrangements and things like that. Yes, there are. So I advise you to spend some time, have a look around, maybe upgrade your servicing and so on. But I wanted to show you what some of the different options are. So that's AppGeyser. Good little application, easy to do. Here's another one, probably my favorite. AppCat, this is the one, this is where the big boys play. Okay, this is the medium boys come here to play, but it, it's going to give you some power that you wouldn't normally have access to. It's just simply, you, you buy it, you download it, you create the thing, and it just creates absolutely beautiful little apps. They look a lot more shiny, they look a lot more professional, than that demo I just showed you. Yes, of course, it's going to cost you probably about 100 bucks to buy this. But if you're planning on doing more than two, it's absolutely going to be worthwhile. So, that's AppCat. When I say AppCat, I mean literally AppCat. Check out the URL. How is that for a cool URL? App.cat. Love it. So this is well worth having a look at, watching the videos, and looking at so many options. Particularly if you're doing these for other people. If you're doing these for other people, you do not do that. I'm going to spend some time and fix this up before I put it online. And I'm also, it's 100% my own content. No PLR here. So... This is what I want you to think about as you're moving forward to this next stage of your business. This looks, you know, pretty average. And if you're doing these for other people, you can't give them average. You've got to give them awesome. Okay? There are some other options for awesome as well. I like this one. Now, this is interesting. The Android Book App Maker. 80 bucks. I had a look at it. I downloaded it. I looked at the comments that people were putting in, it's easy to put together, it really is, but i got to tell you this, I didn't like myself the way that it presented these books, they looked pretty average, <laughs> now that's okay, and I'll get this puppy up and running and then I'll update it and play around with it and you know, we'll make it look better along the way, but when we're just getting started, this one, it works, it's worthwhile looking at, it's incredibly easy, but I still thought they were pretty average. Okay, the Android Book App Maker, it's sold in many different places, same price everywhere. This one, now this is where we're starting to make things a little bit nicer. I like this, the Android Magazine App Maker. Okay, this is where we can take our PDF images and so on and package them up in a, well, some really nice examples. Um, that, that I absolutely liked. Yeah, well, I just have a quick look here. Yeah, there's some more different things in here. This is worthwhile looking at. I didn't like the fact, though, 
and I could be wrong, I've got to look at it further, couldn't put links from my uh, you know, images straight to. Anyway, coming back here with the Android app, make, Magazine App Maker is another good tool. And the other option, of course, is to search for WordPress mobile app themes. Let me just open this one up. We'll have a very quick look and simply create something for yourself. Now, the problem, of course, with this is it's got to be able to resize. Okay. It needs to be able to resize and you need to be careful because, you know, we've got some ads here. This is a theme forest. Uh, sorry, this, this one, Elegant Themes, that's one of theirs. And they're saying that some of these here actually work also for mobile. Mm. Well, I'm not talking a mobile site. I'm talking actual app site. So let's just look at some of the different options here of converting our websites into mobile. Now, if you're using WordPress, you can just you know do a search for something along the lines of WordPress mobile redirect plugin or redirect script or something like that and then you have a dedicated one and simply go from that but I'm going to show you something which I think is really cool I mean this is just super cool this is I'm just playing with this at the moment online shop I, I don't know what I'm going to do with actually just playing with it I was about to delete the thing <laughs> And then I discovered what I'm about to show you. I'm not deleting it anymore because this is really cool. This is using something called ShopperPress. Now, it's a WordPress-based theme. Very simply, it's a good-looking website. You know, pretty average, but it's great. Got all our normal pages checking out people. We can run specials along here. We can rotate. We can have, you know, 50, 100-odd products if we want. All these different things in there. And so on, we can have car articles, we can have a blog with articles, etc., 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 typical WordPress stuff. Now, watch what happens when I come back to App Geyser and refresh this preview. Oh, it's just closing my PDF. There we go. Oh, that's nice. How's that for a nice little, the way it's going to appear in the app? Yes, I like that. Search for things, different categories, check out what's new, review the pages, look at the latest articles or contacts. And of course, that means then we can actually be selling stuff. So, so here's an idea. Look at some kind of, uh, you know, online WordPress theme, this one with ShopperPress, which I've always enjoyed using. And let's say I was to give away a whole bunch of free books. Of course, they'd have to subscribe to get them. And I can package that whole thing up into an app. That's just another way of doing it. Really simple, really, really easy. This is the thing. There are a whole bunch of different ways to do this. You need to decide which one is best for you and which one's going to work better for you. Looking at time, looking at cost. Anyway, let's have a look now at the next video, the strategy, the marketing ideas to make this happen. Talk to you very soon.